Hey guys, it's Ron from Speaker of the Stars and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing the last summonable Night of the, Night of the Round Table. So we are doing Archer Tristan and I say summonable because we might still do one more night being Aggravain. But Aggravain can't be summoned right now, I think. Even in the Japan version, I don't see him as a summonable servant, so... Um, we'll do Aggravain. We might do Arthur prototype, but neither of them are summonable in North America right now. So Tristan is the last summonable Knight of the Round Table. So we've done Mashkai Relight. We've done uh, Arthur Pendragon Saber, Morjed, Lancelot, Gawain, and now we are doing Tristan. So I don't really know much about Tristan even before from before. Like I only knew about him when Camelot was released in Japan. And back then since there wasn't a translation yet of the chapter, I just like, hey, it's a pretty it's a it's a handsome dude with nice red hair. Um he looks kind of sad and he has a nice character design, I think. <laughs> I didn't really know much about him aside from what's written in the wikia. Sadly, I have not been able to summon him in either version, so we will just go based on what's in the wikia. The art for him, this fan art, you will understand it a lot once you sort of read his bio, and it kind of makes sense why he's like in this kind of pose instead of like a fighting pose. But if you don't want spoilers for Tristan's story, you can just mute me. I'm actually just reading what's based off the wikia, so this is the bond level um, information. It's just here if you want to see it, but if you want to learn about Tristan, just listen to me talk about it. So, as written in the wikia, FGO wikia, Tristan is one of the Knights of the Round Table from Arthurian Legends. His class is Saber, but he's often summoned as an archer due to his renown with the bow. The tale of Tristan and Isiot, the woman he loved, is a legend boasting outstanding popularity in Europe. No matter what he does, he seems sad and beautiful. And I think I got that down quite right. <laughs> Never. Anyway, Tristan is a child born from River. Tristan is a child born from Riverland, the king of Leonoy, and Blanflor, the younger sister of Mark. Prince of Cornwall. However, his environment made it fitting to call him a child of sadness. To begin with, his father Rivellan died in battle without ever being able to see Tristan's face. His mother Blamflor died postpartum soon after naming the boy Tristan and entrusting him to a loyal subordinate of Rivellan, Lori. Afterwards, Tristan became a knight that served under his uncle King Mark. Tristan served the king as a good knight. And the king, too, had a deep trust in this handsome knight. But one day, Tristan fell in love with a woman named Isild. No, he was made to fall in love. Hello, DR Moved 2.0, DR Moved English version. <laughs> the tragedy probably lied in the fact that Isild was the woman who King Mark loved and vowed to marry. Before long, thanks to the admonition of King Mark's courtiers who envied Tristan, he was forced to leave the royal court. Afterwards, he came to marry a woman who had the same name of Isild by coincidence, but still his feelings for the past Isild only grew stronger. Man, how common is the name Isild? <laughs> Eventually, Tristan collapsed due to being poisoned in a certain battle and, on the verge of death, wished to meet with Isild. Quote unquote, a white sail if she comes, a black sail if she does not. Upon seeing the boat ca carrying Isild, Tristan's wife Isild whispered the following, A boat with black sails is coming this way. The tale of Tristan was put to an end by means of a modest treachery towards a husband who, despite taking a wife, never tried to love her. King Arthur was a fair king, fair, sincere, to the point that his emotions did not crawl in the way of his judgment. The figure of a king who had killed himself and continued to fight, it was too painful. It was painful because it was just. It was sorrowful because it was just. 
Tristan had no spirit to injure it any longer. He spouted unexpected words when leaving the knights of the round table. To all his brethren and to the king, a curse he gave without him noticing it. Sorrowfully, he muttered, the king does not understand the human heart. So that is Tristan. So he does seem sort of a, he is a tragic character. I mean, he has some lady troubles, I guess. And yeah, uh, yeah. There's nothing much to say about it. I don't really know much about Jason except except that I actually do love his character design quite a bit. He always has his eyes closed, so I guess he might be. I don't think he's blind. Like we've had a lot of fan art and like jokes where something makes him open his eyes, but we haven't actually seen him open his eyes. <laughs> I think. Oh yeah, he does open his eyes. Wait, I think. If I click on this sprite sheet, yeah, he just keeps his eyes closed a lot. Just makes him look sad. <laughs> so he's not blind. I thought he was blind in in the Japanese version. And a lot of people thought that too. But yeah, I just like his character design. Um, compared to the other knights, it's not as very armor heavy until you get to stage three ascension. Actually, no, stage two. Um, he does don some armor in stage two. It becomes a bit more elaborate in stage three. What I did, <laughs> did what I did for my fan art is I mixed his stage one outfit with the code from his stage two, uh, stage three rather. Man, I am all over the place. <laughs> but given his biography, and he is a tragic character of sorts, I just wanted to draw him in this sort of sad pose of like. You know, like this forlorn, forlorn. Can't talk, dang it. <laughs> the sad pose. Um, highlighting his beauty, quote unquote, I guess. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, the tricky part with drawing art for Chisel is the fact that he has a lot of colors. And not that he's colorful, but he has blues and he has reds, and it becomes white and like this sort of brownish, blackish color. And it is more of a difficulty of trying to make the red and the blue match without clashing too much. So I had to achieve that with constantly layering the same tones over each other. So I chose a lot of cool tones given that he was in the water or you don't see that yet but you will later on but there's going to be a lot of like blue washes just to tie in the entire color scheme together. Another difficulty was the fact that a lot of his outfit was white. Like a lot of the grand, like a lot of the round table guys, their armor is white. I guess because it's metal, it's armor, I guess it's going to be white or silver of sorts. Only Lancelot doesn't really prescribe to that color scheme. And Galahad. But we're not drawing Galahad, we're drawing Mashu. Yeah, Mashu doesn't fit that color scheme that much. Who else? Bediver had some teal in him. Mordred. Nah. That's mostly white too. <laughs> See, a lot of them were wearing, was wearing white. So my difficulty here was trying to balance the fact that I didn't want to make the white parts of his outfit look blue, nor did I want it to look cream. So I tried to balance that out later, like really really later when I start adding in the water to try and balance the colors and make it mesh together. And as, since the, and as you can see the video is a bit longer than usual, it's because I did take a lot of steps to try and make it look cohesive, unlike with my usual pieces like I can pick exactly what color scheme I want to go in my piece and I know how to tweak them properly but I was trying to be very very careful with Tristan's um, sort of color balance. I didn't want to make the colors look muddy. I still wanted him to look like he's in water and yeah I put in some effort I think. <laughs> it's just a bit more time consuming than usual.
So the thing in the new Tristan now, or what's different with him against the other Knights of the Round Table is that his background is quite different. Lately, with with Morjed, um, Lancelot, and Bediver, I've been doing a bit more like energy based, aura based type of backgrounds. With Tristan, I wanted to be a bit more scenic, I guess. Um, like what I did with Mashu and Artoria. Um, with Artoria and Mashu, it was like just drapery of cloth, of curtains. But I don't know, with Tristan, I felt like putting these kind of sleeves would make it look a bit more. Since he's described as like beautiful and all of that and sad, I felt like it contributed to that vibe a bit more. And originally, I just wanted him to be like hiding in this like sort of cove or like a like a temple sort of thing, but I didn't really wanna. I don't know. It 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 felt like I wanted to show the water a bit more, so I didn't really close off the wall. Um, yeah. So Tristan's art is a lot different than the other Knights of the Round Table series, but I feel like it fits his character really, really well in terms of what I can see from his Bond info. I'm actually sort of slightly regretting that gold leafing or that gold thing on the, the temple column. Uh, in my brain, it looked nice, but I think it might be it might be taking away too much attention from everything, including Tristan. Like it does lead to him, sort of. But and I did tone it down a bit more later. I did add a layer of burnt umber on top of it to like tone down the color, but it feels a bit out of place. Since there's nothing gold on Tristan, there's nothing gold anywhere else. But you sort of learn these things as you go, I guess. So, you are nearing the end of the video for Tristan. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I wasn't, I wasn't able to talk a lot. Um, I don't really know or have, have too much of an opinion for Tristan. Um, and the, the techniques that I used for his fan art is like my usual technique. So, even so, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I sort of enjoyed it. It is a bit more taxing than my usual fan arts. But... And it's a bit more detailed than my usual fan arts, to be honest. So, um, anyway, um, please follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and DeviantArt. If you want to see more whips or announcements, you can go follow me there. Like or subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I do a lot of stuff like this, and I'll see you around. <laughs>